This is the new Huawei MateBook E. It looks like a tablet, but it's actually a two-in-one laptop. It runs Windows 11. With keyboard, it's a legit laptop. Per our routine, just think of it as a laptop and do the review. Mm, but I think it's pointless. As I recall, they are kind of niche with mediocre ratings, so they are rarely seen on the market. So today, we will compare the two-in-one laptop and the common laptops to explain the differences and test results to show the value of the two-in-one laptop and review it along the way. If it meets your needs, then I believe this video will help you a lot. Before we get into it, please notice that we'll be talking about regarding the MateBook E is the detachable keyboard design. There is a flippable and foldable one, which can also be considered two-in-one. However, we won't talk about them in this video. Before discussing the differences between the two-in-one and common laptops, we must understand their similarities first. First is the core specs. Many two-in-one laptops have x86 processors, basically the same type of processor as your laptop and desktop, so it can run Windows, the same applications you have as well as the games you play. MateBook E has a 4-core, 8-thread Intel i7-1160G7 processor with 16G memory and 512GB, the same specs as some of our common Ultrabooks. Price-wise, this one here costs about $1250, with a reference price of about $940. Besides specs, another obvious one is the OS. The MateBook E runs with the new Windows 11. Compared to the Android and iPad OS, Windows has its fair share of advantages. For example, the number of applications available. Although now tablets are popular, Android and iPad OS support a lot of applications. In terms of functionalities, compatibilities, and usages, it feels more comfortable on Windows. Take Microsoft Office, for example. It has full functions on PC, but not the same on tablets. Also, Windows supports external devices better, at least for file management and disk format. It's more compatible and file transfer rarely goes wrong. Apart from work, a two-in-one Windows laptop can handle low-spec games like League of Legends. If you want to play when you're out, that's where it comes in handy. The third similarity to common laptops is the portability. Ultralight laptops today can weigh less than one kilogram. Huawei MateBook X is a typical example. The MateBook E here weighs only 709 grams, 1.14 kilograms. With a keyboard, with this thickness, you can see the size is similar to common laptops. Speaking of the keyboard, let's talk about the fourth similarity, typing feel. MateBook E has an interesting keyboard. You can open up the top half to adjust from 110 to 160 degrees. Clever design. Besides the stock one, Huawei has a slide keyboard for MateBook E with slide rails. After connected, it looks more like a laptop. Triangular structure means it will be more stable on your knees during work. What's more, it comes with an extra Type-C port for charging your keyboard and iPad, which frees the Thunderbolt 4 for other uses. It's really important for a device with a few ports. But the slide keyboard is also a bit heavier. It alone weighs 675 grams, only 30 grams lighter than the body, which means proportional to the complex structure, limited by size, the keyboard and touchpad are passable. Short key travel feels different from common keyboards, which is a disadvantage. With such a thin keyboard, there's still NFC in the touchpad for one-touch connection and multi-screen collaboration, which means MateBook E follows along with other MateBook models. For now, it can control up to three mobile phones. It supports drag and drop, clipboard sharing, and making video calls to and from phones. Apart from that, the keyboard has a smart voice key. Press it to activate. It has two modes. In voice typing, it can convert your words into text. In AI subtitle mode, it'll display real-time subtitles of English to Chinese and Japanese Chinese. You can export subtitles as text. Huawei MateBook supports both of these features, so that's a similarity as well. After similarities between two-in-one and common laptops, now comes the main part, the differences. The biggest difference lies in the form design. The keyboard and the body are magnetically connected, which can be easily disconnected if needed. It can switch between a laptop and a tablet. When disconnected, it's much lighter than a laptop. Also, the tablet has an elegant and intuitive display. 
when using the Alterbook, you need to hold it for presentation. Since editing is not needed, the keyboard is redundant at this point. The tablet is better at this. During a presentation, you can even make annotations. It just feels more simple and clear. The second is the touchscreen. There are Ultrabook touchscreens, but it's not really practical because the hinge can't remain stable when the screen is touched, and it's very easy to shake. It's inconvenient with the keyboard. But in on a two-in-one laptop, we can easily use a stylus to make notes or double-click for shortcuts, like taking a screenshot. And if you're good at art, you can draw on it. In short, a two-in-one laptop's touchscreen is better than a common laptop's. By the way, Madebook E has a good display quality, an OLED screen with 100% display P3 color gamut and a 2560 by 1600 resolution. It has a built-in color management solution with three modes. It has a wide color gamut in native mode. You can also choose sRGB and display P3. Huawei's done a factory setting for the color correction. The color gamut coverage in sRGB mode is 98%. DCI P3 with 98.5% gamut coverage in P3 mode, color accuracy is good too. Average 0.64 delta E in sRGB mode and max 1.62, average 0.9 in P3 mode and max 1.66. As for response time, the OLED panel features a low response time, for black to white and grayscale are both 2.2 milliseconds, and this laptop doesn't use common OLED low frequency PWM dimming, but DC like dimming with small fluctuations, so no need for worry about eye strain. Compared with common laptops, the third difference is the camera. Laptop's camera is always 720p. What a classic design. Matebook E has an 8 megapixel camera in the front and a 13 megapixel camera in the back. The graphic quality is not comparable to phones, but certainly better than Windows PC. It also has Huawei AI noise cancellation and personal voice enhancement. Should be useful for those who often need video meetings. Then weaknesses. A 2-in-1 laptop with limited size usually has few ports. The Matebook E has one Thunderbolt 4. A docking station will be needed. Even if you use the slide keyboard and charge the laptop on the dock, there's only one Type-C port. Apart from the lack of ports, the internal scalability is another weak spot. Usually 2-in-1 can be disassembled. Matebook E is also fixed with glue. Memory and hard drive are not replaceable. So when browsing, you must be clear about how much memory and storage you need for daily use. That should be once and for all. The last difference is the performance. A 2-in-1 laptop requires a screen and a processor in the same place, and there's not much internal space to fit in a thick heat pipe like a common laptop. And the x86 processor has certain power limits, so the performance of Matebook E is not as good as Ultrabook. In Cinebench R20 loop test, Matebook E scored a stable 1250 with only 12 watts at 2.0 GHz, weaker than mainstream Ultrabook. Same thing in the stress test, Power also maintained at 12 watts. The temperature was not high, only 67 degrees. Clock speed at 2.9 gigahertz for touchscreen. The highest surface temperature was 41.7 degrees. Most areas were below 35 degrees. It would just feel slightly hot in your hands. Noise levels low, only 38.5 dB. Gotta get close enough to hear it. A thin body's a challenge for battery design. Huawei put a 42 watt hour battery into the Matebook E. PC Mark 10 battery life scored 6 hours and 47 minutes. Shorter battery life is another difference. Limited performance means limited uses. It's better for checking emails, simple data and image processing, writing and proofreading, rather than for video editing and graphics rendering. Matebook E has a good display quality and is easy to hold. So it's suitable for document and project presentation. After similarities and differences between two-in-one laptops and Ultrabooks, you may have a basic understanding now. Let's summarize the key points for your reference. Finally, let's talk about people they apply to. First, business users who often make presentations and have video meetings, which doesn't need much performance. But two-in-one products, features, and compatibility of Windows and x86 platform would be useful in these occasions. Second, two-in-one laptops are detachable to be used as a laptop in the office and study, and also a tablet in the bedroom or kitchen. More space to move around. Stylus with touching and touchpad with keyboard. Enrich its usage scenarios. Use together or to split them up. They all have merits. Finally, 
If you're just a light Office user who only needs to check emails and use Office, then you could use it primarily as your laptop. But in regards to its performance, scalability, and battery life are weaker. If you have needs for these, I would suggest another primary device. All right, that's it for now. I'm not sure if this video has helped you in any way. If you enjoyed it, hit like and subscribe. Your support is really important to me. If you want to interact, follow our WeChat official account. I'll post a review every day. This laptop may be good or bad, but we have only one purpose, to share information and provide guidance. This is Biba Review Studio. I'm Juan. I'll see you in the next video.